All right, um, I'm going to show you how to make your uh, portfolio. So the first thing you want to do is go to your resource guide, and there is a screencast, this screencast right here in Create a Portfolio. Um, but I want you to go to Weekly Photography Steps. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go down to Step 10, and you want to click on this link right here at the end, Adobe Express. Open it up in Chrome. So this is the program or the site we're going to use for this. So the first thing you have to do is sign in or sign up. Okay, I already have an account. You guys do not, so you have to sign up. Uh, it'll only take a, a few minutes. So I'm just going to log into my account. All right, once you're logged in, um, you want to click on education up here on the, the top. Uh, make sure you're on suggested over here and then go to web page from scratch. Okay, first thing, your name. And then the subtitle is going to be Photography 1. Okay. Uh, the other thing, when you come down to the bottom here, you can choose a photo. So you're going to go to Photo. Now, obviously, you're going to choose one of your photos. But for the sake of just making the site, I'm going to come over and use a stock photo. So I'm going to search... Um, autumn and I'm going to pick one of these pictures okay so this is my start to my site I'm going to scroll down with my finger notice it will give me this option right here I want to choose text and I want to choose Project, I want to type project one and then title it rule of thirds because that is the first project. Okay, then I just want to click somewhere on that and choose H2 to make that a little bit bolder. Then I'm going to come down to the next plus icon and click that. I'm going to choose photo grid. Right, and I'm just going to come over in here and pick 10 pictures. Now, obviously, this is going to be your 10 pictures um, when you go ahead and replace these with your actual first project. So these are going to be placeholders for right now. So I'm just going to pick 10 here. So um, these, I'm going to pick some horizontal and some vertical pictures. Let's see how many I got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Need one more. Let's go with that one. Okay, now once you have your grid over here, what you're going to do is figure out do you what how you want them placed. So let's say that I do not want this one. I want this one bigger, and I want it down here. So you're going to click on that. You're going to choose the over arrow a couple times three times, um, and then let's see here, is that a larger photo? Oh, I don't want it that large. I'm going to go back, <laughs> click on that, and go back to smaller size. All right, so I'm going to go over one more, and there it is, big. All right, so you can maneuver these around however you want to, and then you can click save up here. Okay, so this is the start of my portfolio here. So I got rule of thirds. I got my 10 pictures that I'm going to uh, have graded in my grid. 
Then I'm going to come down here to Glide Show. Okay. I'm going to choose the picture that I want to talk about. So I'm going to pick this one right here. This is the one I want to talk about. And I'm going to press Save. Okay. Now it's going to give me a area over here. Now since your picture um, won't won't show completely, you're going to want to include your picture over here too. So I'm going to choose photo. I'm going to choose this again. And then below here, that is where I write my artist statement. So I'm going to go text. I'm just going to start writing and then, or typing. And then I'm going to click on this and choose one, two, three, right here, the bullet points. Okay. So I'm just going to type in some gobbledygook here and then press the return key. The, this is where you would answer your three questions for the artist statement. All right. So that's what it would look like there. All right. So I'm done with my first project. So I get into my site. There's the rule of thirds. There's the grid. I scroll down and my image pops up with my artist statement. Okay. So pretty cool little site here. And then for my second project, I don't make a new site. All right. I just go below this first project. Click on text. So I would go project two lines okay click on that choose h2 go here to the plus icon and click grid and make a new grid for my new project and project three goes below two and so on and so forth so you're going to get a site that scrolls from project one all the way down to your last project Okay, so project one is going to be at the top, and as you go down, you're going to get project two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay, so I hope that helps. Let me know if you have problems, and I can certainly help you out.